Louisiana Beer Reviews, Abita Christmas Ale 2022. Well, I bought this during the first half of October 2022, a little early for Christmas, but by the time Christmas Day rolls around, they'll already have their uh, Mardi Gras Bach on the shelves, I'm sure. Each year at the Abita Brewery, we craft a special dark ale for, ale for the holiday season. The recipe changes each year. So they're kind of mimicking uh, Anchor, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, our special ale, which was I saw at Total Wine last week also in uh, also first half of October. And it was so expensive, it was like $13.50 for a six pack. So I said, man, I'm gonna pass on it. I'm gonna wait around and see, because that's it's getting a little too much. But here's Santa Claus, St. Nicholas being pulled by alligators over a city. <laughs> and uh but see Anchor there. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, our special ale is has a slightly different recipe every year as well. So this is 5.8% alcohol. 40 bitterness units, brewed in Louisiana, Abita Springs, Louisiana. Louisiana's oldest craft brewery since 1986. Comes in these standard craft beer squat neck bottles, similar to Founders. St. Arnold. Um, there's some others, and it's in a boss bottle, it's got a beetle on it. Barley. I was trying to think of some others. I remember the mate macro beers used to be in these short neck bottles too. I have a bunch of them up there, Paps Blue Ribbon. Schlitz, Ice House, Colt 45, Malt Liquor, and so on. But then they all went to Long Necks. Okay. Be right back. not the, the hat I wanted to have on. Okay, uh, that's the one. Okay, anyhow, and I think the, the other one from Anchor is a brown ale also. Yeah, so it's reddish brown, not much of a head of foam, Cac um, off white head, I was going to say khaki, but Oh boy. The, heck, the malts are um, biscuit, caramel, chocolate, and Munich. The hops are Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, and Columbus. I guess what changes is whatever a little bit of spices they're adding. They tweak it each year. Yeah, it smells like a spiced brown bread. It smells nice. It was twelve forty. No, that was for a different one. This was ten. I think this was ten ninety nine. A lot better than that thirteen forty nine from Anchor. Sorry, Anchor, but y'all gotta cool it on the prices. And this was right next to that display. This Abita Christmas ale and then the Anchor. Okay, and some other Christmas ales. Crazy. Taste. 40 bitterness units. A little bit bitter. Not really. 
brown bread crust, brown bread. Tastes like maybe they're having spruce tips. <laughs> they did that with one of the Samuel Adams beer one time, beers one time, right? Went into with spruce tips. It's kind of like that. I mean, they don't, they said they changed the recipe every year. They didn't say they changed it profoundly. One year, my daughter and I thought it tastes like glazed ham. <laughs> um, body is medium. Finish is mostly dry. Really, I find this beer, it's been on the market for years. We've been reviewing it back to 2011. Used to have that silver gift wrap label. Gift wrap looking label. Um, to me it tastes like a hoppy brown ale. Kind of like what Lagunitas does with the Newcastle Brown Ale, their version of Newcastle Brown Ale. Yes. It's pleasant though. Now, you, if you say, oh yeah, if I have craft beers, they have to be super intense, like unbearable for 98% of the people that drink beer. I like those kind of beers too, to tell you the truth. But, um, Abita has put out things like that. Not so much anymore. Maybe at the brew pub. In the brewery, you'll get the uh, brewery-only releases that can be exotic. But they used to have, like, oyster stout made with real oysters, Louisiana oysters, and other really, really expensive. They're, like, $10.99 a bomber. That was, like, eight, nine years ago. Uh, but um, I don't know if the sales were that good. Maybe it was like costing them as much to make it as to sell it. I don't know. But these things sell like crazy, like the fall pecan ale, this Christmas ale. They make a holiday stout for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. I have a six pack of those. I'll do a review soon. I don't think they change the recipe on that one every year. But that's, uh, those things sell. They just sell, sell, sell. And I guess if you're a brewing company, you may as well make what sells. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, I know what I'm going to score without even taking another sip. It's an A. It's an A beer. I mean, like I described it, spicy brown bread and a, and a hoppy brown ale. Uh, and maybe, like I said, they're using the spruce tips. I don't know. They don't ever really taste that different year to year. And the only way to do it would be doing a vertical, you know, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. But then you couldn't do it because it wouldn't hold up. It's only 5.8% alcohol. It's not going to age. We did a, a few, a, about a five year age anchor, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, our special ale. It was still good, but you could see that it was, like, in another month, it was gone. You know, no way you, you would want to drink it. So it's not designed, those, and those are only using around 6 to 7%. They're not designed for cellaring. They are not. So that's not feasible. But I'll just say it, it, it might change a little bit each year. But if you live in a place that you can get a beat of Christmas ale, I would highly recommend it. I'm going to go with 93 out of 100, 9.3 out of 10. I gave high scores to those um, flavored malt beverages from Smirnoff. Those are definitely not my kind of beer. Uh, they're fine in their own world of the uh, like icy snowball, snow cone <laughs> kind of thing, but I'd rather a more traditional craft beer like this. So lazy early bon time relay and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Abita Brewer the Abita Brewery and take a tour and have a good time.